right, man. Finally made it back out to Black Point. Yeah, I told you I was going to do one in January, but the winds have been blowing. I mean, 15, 20, 25, up to 30 miles an hour every day I try to get out here. So, uh, back out here, guys. Now, if you look at the water, I can't really even see the bottom. It's about a f one foot, about a, a, you know, a foot and a quarter, foot and a half deep. And it's dirty. Usually this time of year, you go January, February, you got some of the cleanest waters around. The fact is, without the grass, any kind of wind just kicks up the sediment. So the grass is needed to hold that sediment down, and it really has a lot to do with water quality. I can't tell what's down there, but I'm going to put the cameras down. We're going to check it out and uh, see what's going on. Hopefully, the grass is still growing there. Although, you know, sunlight, some sunlight is making it down. It's not dirty, dirty, but it's a, it's a lot dirtier than what you would normally find uh, for this time of year. So, put the cameras down, and once I review the... Uh, the film, I'll talk a little bit more about it. Well, after reviewing the tapes, it really wasn't much to see. We're in a foot and a half of water. And it was uh, very uh, stirred up, very dirty. Now, we just had two days of uh, really calm weather, so I was hopefully it was giving it a chance to settle down. Um, January, it was a very windy month. And um, as you can see in the video, as soon as I dropped the camera down, I actually touched bottom. And when I touched bottom, I did see something. I did some slow motion on it, and it looks like there is some grass there. But then I moved the camera up about four to six inches off the bottom, like I did in previous videos. And you really couldn't see anything. You just saw some sh kind of shadowy stuff here and there. So the water has to clear. And the key factor to having clear water is having grass. The grass holds its sediment, so when it is windy, usually January, the water is crystal clear. It's probably the clearest time the lagoon is in the year. But without grass to hold that bottom down in the windy weather we had all through January, it's done nothing but kicked it up. And what that does is that keeps the sunlight from penetrating down. you got to remember, we're in a foot and a half of water. And the sunlight is just barely making it there. You can imagine what three foot of water looks like. So um, here's a little overview. This is what it looked like before the hurricanes. This is like five months ago. This is what this area of Black Point looked like. After the storms, when the water cleared up enough where I could shoot some video, this is what it looked like. You can see a little bit of grass here and there starting to come up. So I started looking promising. Now, at the end of January, and I'm sorry I didn't get it earlier, but there was, it was just too rough out there every time I went to go out there. This is what it looks like now. So, it is crucial for the lagoon to have seagrass. And we got to have seagrass. I mean, it just holds down the sediment. It gives a place for the fish, shrimp, and everything else to live in. Uh, right now, it's a barren desert. It is a barren desert out there all throughout Sebastian. So um, as soon as it clears up and we have maybe three or four days of calm weather, I do want to get out there. I want to get it when the water is clear so I can really see what's going on there because I really could not tell in these conditions. All I can tell you, it's not good. So sometime in February, as soon as we get a couple of good days, that water clears up enough where I can actually see what's going on that out there. I am going to drop again uh, the cameras and see what's going on, and so it hopefully in a week or two. Until then, this is Pete Hink. Thanks for watching my channel. See you next time.